Good morning, guys. Rick Shaw here on Sunday, the 3rd of April, 2022. We got some beautiful clouds going on today. Look at that. My little handsome buddy there, my little poop poochie. And we got a nice day. I wanted to thank everybody for coming to the live this morning. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, notify you on a video next time I put up a live because uh, they're not notifying a lot of people. I had a bunch of you guys say that they weren't notified. So, you know, it's a shadow banning thing. So, and, and a bunch of my subscribers had been unsubscribed. They just happened to check and found out they weren't. You know, so this this is getting, it's, it's starting to get a little bit silly. They're never going to let me go over 3,200 people, even though I'm seeing all kinds of new uh, new names in there on comments and stuff people I haven't heard of before. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And I also want to thank everybody for uh, watching the commercials. You know, it, it throws a couple bucks this way. And uh, that that's really cool. I do, do appreciate that, guys, because I know. I watch some channels. You know, I got like Tropical Tim and Sean's Amazing Adventures. There's channels I watch, Deborah Catch by Faith. If there's commercials, I let them play. We put it on the big TV and I just let it play. Some of them that got millions of subscribers, you know, just to get through them, like Grease Monkey videos and stuff like that, I, I just click it off. I don't watch the commercials on a lot of those, but the people we know personally in the channels I like, I want to throw them a couple bucks just by letting them play, letting the commercials play. So I appreciate that. But uh, we're going here pretty quick to uh, tomorrow. We're going to pick up our buddy. Got a couple small things to do today. But one thing I have, I got some motorcycle covers. I'll show them to you when they come, see if they're they're worth it. They were incredibly cheap, so don't know how well they're going to be. But I got three of them, so we're going to cover, be able to cover up the bikes and the motorcycle. One thing I bought for the motorcycle was I bought an extender. It's one of the ones that fits into here, and it's going to raise this up a little bit. I couldn't get the higher one because I don't have that much cable room. I have a little bit. I can clip these and make this a little bit more, but I want to get it up and back a little bit. I don't like reaching for the handlebars. So when that happens, uh, that'll be this week. I'll, I'll show you my deal I do on it. And also we'll show you taking the panels off and everything so you don't break them. I'm going to show you where the fuse is. I'll do all that stuff this this week while my buddy Hokum's here. Maybe I can list him to hold the camera for me, you know, while we're doing it. I don't like putting it on the <clears throat> tripod in case the kids come running through and knock it over. And then I got a busted expensive camera. I, I don't want that. And it gets pretty windy here too, you know. Today the air is kind of still. I put the fuzzy muff on. I was out earlier. It was windy. Now it's like dead calm. Uh, there's no trees moving. Nothing like that. But it's Sunday. We still got some workers here working. Not as many as, as uh, yesterday, but we got a few of them working today. And they're getting the places up. Uh, they're moving right along. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to having some neighbors. I hope we get a lot of good neighbors. Uh, me, I always did my best to be a good neighbor whenever I lived anywhere um, you know you, you you know you don't want to be crappy to your neighbors I mean they're they're a line of defense for you uh, I actually moved into a place one time there was um, a daughter-in-law on one side and or, or it was a niece it was a niece on the one side and the aunt was on the other and they were feuding they wanted to, they wanted to buy the property in between and then tear the house down and cut it and make their yards bigger. That's what they wanted to do with this property. Well, while that was going on, the fellow that owned it, I was looking for a place to rent. And uh, I went and looked at it and I thought, wow, you want $175 a month. And, and I went in, looked at it. I couldn't stand up in the basement. I remember walking out and telling my wife, there, there ain't no way in a million years I would live here. I can't even stand up in the basement. The upstairs, uh, ceilings I was standing up was right on my head and then I called the guy and I told him no nah, I'm not I'm not gonna rent it and he says well why don't you buy it so I went ahead and well how much you want for it and and then with a with a loan with a, a short-term loan it was only 105 a month with taxes and insurance so okay never say never I wound up buying a place but those people 
both of them hated me hated me but every day I walked outside howdy neighbor you know even though they wouldn't look at me or wave back or anything I still was being howdy and after the the one lady it took her about not even a year and then she was talking and her her uh, boyfriend would talk to me an older couple but still boyfriend he started talking to me and then they got real friendly the lady on the other side the aunt took three and a half years she wouldn't even allow her husband to talk to me he was a couple uh, but uh <laughs> but you got to do that with your neighbors you got to be friends with your neighbors and then it turned out uh i was a good neighbor to them when her when her husband got real sick and he'd be in the house and fall down he was a big big heavy fella well, i was 290 or so you know i could go over there and pick him up no problem help him back into bed and stuff and she even said she wished she wouldn't have been so crappy it wasn't anything i did you know some people take weird offense uh to you but it's best to be good friends with all your neighbors and i'm looking forward to getting some good neighbors i'm actually looking forward to this house going up because when they do it i talked to the engineer that was here they're gonna put that firewall right here just like over on that house just like my house so that's gonna block some of the rain out there and that's when i want to get the roof on i want to go all the way around the back over the washing machine i want to come out here i want to come out from here uh, we might leave this area open but i want to come out from here all the way to here all the way to this fence with a regular regular roof uh, you know regular roof however we're going to build it might leave this might leave this open here and then put a door there and uh that that's my plan anyway leave this open we we might come out with a smaller awning maybe maybe an awning that comes out here so if it's raining real hard we can get the key in the door without getting too wet but that's our, that's our plans here uh would have been nice to bring that porch right there concrete all the way out but the prices are just ridiculous what we're getting uh you know it, it, to me it's, it's just not worth it if they would have told us in the beginning we could have done that i'd have had them do it even if it would would have been quite a bit of money i would have just said it hey, because it'll be done and we could have had the porch coming all the way out but no they never they never told us and that's where i think that these people in the office for this company uh they're not doing the best job for the owners you know the owners they should be trying to sell everything they can on the house we could add our kitchen pushed out to the back wall i could add door put i could change a bunch of stuff but no they never told us we could do it we find out later you know when we after we move here and the construction guy said oh yeah you could do that you know <laughs> so that's just what you deal with here uh I, I we were talking a little bit today about building houses on the live and i'll be honest with you you're better off to do it yourself or or find some other expat here that's in your area that knows construction and can and can give you a hand listen to the guys that have been in country for a while you know it's just like my my brother said when he went to vietnam you know they told him that was the first thing they said hang with the guys been in country a while you know you, because they're the ones who know stuff that's going on like tropical tim's a good one there's a texas uh filipino down there building a house if you're over that area it'd be good to pick his brain i'm watching i'm watching some of his videos the guy's doing a damn good job he's doing a dang good job and if you do it yourself you're going to save a ton of money you're going to save a ton of money and uh if you've been in the construction trades at all or even if not you can get workers here that that will help you you know find a construction site uh, maybe somebody in your wife's family or something like that knows somebody and then you can go ahead and and uh, maybe get them to help you out uh, i've got a plan for a house i want to build for myself when i get to where i can't go uh, i want one story so it'll be easy for me to get around with no steps or anything like that but uh I'll definitely have an engineer look at what we're doing but I don't think I mean you know, I actually don't think I really need one but I think for your barren guy clearance on it permit whatever it is they they'll have somebody to look at it but uh, I already have the house designed exactly how I'm gonna build it and I, I'm not gonna do it in block I want to do it in poured concrete courses kind of like Texas Filipinos doing and then i can you know when they're doing those i can just get a truck to come out you know we'll measure the volume and then we'll that way you'll tell them how much concrete you need and we'll go ahead and pour pour the first one 
but that's set and then I'll be able to easily get in the forms you can tack your boxes right on the forms and everything will be good you know it'll be, it'll be really easy plus I'll use PVC for my electric and uh, the water you know you can do you can do that you can get that done that way what they use here is smurf tube I wanted to you know when they didn't put my ground like I wanted ground rod they didn't charge me for it but they just never put it in even though I asked for it no neutral well okay I'm gonna run at least a ground rod right yeah I'm gonna run that ground rod but guess what from here to the first uh, entry into the house which is in the back there where I'm gonna where I can put my generator to hook up you can't get that wired to budge it's in smurf tube and it's pinched it's not budging and that will fail that that over time is gonna fail because when you pinch a wire like that it builds up a resistance right in that area it's gonna be heat and it's gonna fail eventually we'll have to be pounding this up and the bad thing is they put it in the wall so this you know this is just what we have to deal with um, I don't like a lot of the construction techniques they do here I didn't like the, the plumber that said my insta hot had to go up high because it was fed by gravity well you stinking dork how the heck did they get the water up to the insta hot in the first place doesn't run on gravity <laughs> but this is what you deal with here you're gonna run into these guys and you've got uh, construction guys on the job that don't know what they're doing and they've got people in the office that don't know what they're doing and this is what you get <laughs> I'm telling you I'm telling you guys right now there's that wonderful thing they're doing right here this this is just unbelievable and they're gonna park a car over this it's a real small septic in this house though but uh, yeah this is their it's their job they're doing here it's not even very thick concrete that form is twice as thick as the concrete yesterday when they were doing this work they were throwing loose dirt on top and pouring the concrete on top of that so that that seems that seems like a problem uh, you look at my house I was using the pressure sprayer and there was a little bit of moss grown on there and I wrote my son's name very quickly and it actually took the concrete the concrete up you know so it's permanently in there <laughs> <laughs> so you're best off if you can do it yourself or find somebody who's really good at, at doing it you know I went and looked at that house how they did the pillows on there and the way the rebars are supposed to be tied in it's done the same as all the rest of these the houses that are being built over there by a different crew they're actually doing it correctly and this is from the own Filipino code but nobody comes out and checks nobody's gonna come out and uh, check to see if there's a code or anything like that so you run into this is what you run into so build it yourself me the next one I do I'm gonna do it myself and uh, you know we'll be won't be long another another year or two we're gonna be looking for some ground when all this settles down uh, property prices haven't dropped but we want to find a good enough big enough piece of ground uh, that we can get the house started and what I want to do uh, future is instead of having a wall around my place I would like to have houses you know where where you have your little living room downstairs little toilet in the corner little kitchen right there Filipino style and up the little stairs to a bedroom a little changing room and a bedroom upstairs and build that build that up not real high ceilings like here nine foot ceilings just give give it seven foot ceilings for the Filipino and th those would be little cheap rentals and it's your security and then you know with the, with the back wall you know that'll just be a solid back wall and that'll be what we see on the inside we could paint some nice pictures on there you know palm trees and <laughs> ocean views I'd like to do that uh, when the neighbor gets the house up over there like on this wall have somebody come in and paint me some beautiful palm trees and stuff on there we'll have to talk to the neighbor hey do you mind if we do that I don't think they would care if this neighbor right here said hey we'd like to paint this wall with a mural of pine trees said, yeah knock yourself out man I don't care you know it's gonna be right next to his house so what, what would I care and if the neighbor over here allows that I'd like to do that for this house because it nice background but that's about all I got for today uh, we're getting ready for our trip tomorrow I'm gonna to bring the camera along and uh, 
we're going to be going looking at tents don't know for sure if we're going to buy one yet but probably um, we did I did say on the thing when we checked last time on the to go we couldn't go to Mindoro because they needed a jab well my wife uh, fella just got back uh, he just got back today from Mindoro that's where he lives he's a construction worker here him and his buddies went to Mindoro uh, last week they just got back and he said they never asked for jab or jab card or no t no PCR test nothing they jumped on the boat and I said well I told my wife well maybe that wasn't a to-go boat and they said yeah that's what he took that's what they took now to go was telling me no you got to have a jab so maybe that changed maybe that changed since I checked it out because but I, but I am worried that we're gonna go there and then when we come back they're gonna say oh sorry uh, uh, we changed to level 45 and now you can't uh, you, you can't come back unless you got the job <laughs> hey guys don't laugh it can happen so this is Rick Shaw out oh.